Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is a special on the ground of the Cube here at the VTUG SummerSlam 2019. Uh, we've had the pleasure of uh, knowing the VTUG team for uh, quite a while back, actually, when it was the New England VMUG was when I started attending, uh, when it switched to the VTUG uh, at Gillette Stadium is when we started doing the Cube there. Uh, and uh, happy uh, to bring back to the program first Chris Harney, uh, who, who is the one that created this as a, a true user event. And joining him is his wife, Dawn Harney, uh, who we know is behind the scenes organizing all of, the, all of this event. So. Uh, Don and Chris, uh, thank you so much for joining us, and thank Thanks, you Stu. for you know sharing this community and educational process uh, with, with all of us. Thanks, Stu. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right, so you know, Chris, you know, we really want this. It's a celebration. 16 years, uh, you know. Back in 2003, the number one movie of the year was actually Finding Nemo. Uh, of oh, of course, we waited a long time <laughs> for there. Uh, it goes without saying that all of us were a little bit younger. Uh, and uh, you know, boy, in those days, you know, I, you know, I started working with VMware in 2002. So that journey of virtualization was really early. Uh, the, you know, there was no cloud. Uh, you know, talking. Absolutely. We had kind of the XSPs and some of the earlier things. But so much has changed. And what I've loved is, you know, this journey that the users are attending here. Uh, we're actually here in the Expo Hall, and if you look, why are there nobody people in here right now? Because they are all in the breakout sessions, understanding what are the skill sets that they need today and tomorrow to help them in their journey, virtualization, cloud, DevOps, all of these changes there. So, uh, you know, Chris, you started this as a user to help share with your peers, so uh, we've had you on the program many times, bring us back. Yeah, I mean, so think back to 2003. You know, there was no way to share information. You know, there's no Google, no YouTube, no Facebook groups, meetups, no Game of Thrones. We had to like go to like books and stuff like exactly. that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <Read> paper. <laughs> right, so white papers, those were a big deal. You had the Microsoft books that were two inches thick and glossy. Yeah, I, I wonder how many of our younger audience would know the acronym RTFM. Exactly. Uh, you know, it is, uh, read the fine manual, please, uh, <laughs> is what we're doing. Um, Don, uh, you know, this event, uh, you know, as I said, we've been at the winter event at Gillette Stadium. You brought in some of the Patriot players. We've had the pleasure of interviewing. Uh, this summer uh, event is, is epic. It is, you know, I know people that come uh, from very long distances to swim in the community, get the information. There's a little bit of lobster uh, at the end of the day. So uh, There's a lot of lobster at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, so, so give us, you know, really the community that you look to help, uh, you know, build and foster and, you know, what this event has meant to you over the years. For me, it's, it's really a place for everybody in the community to come together and share their knowledge with their peers. I mean, something may have worked for me, maybe it will work for you. Let's get together and talk about it. It's the best way to learn something is from somebody that may have done it or done it, messed it up, learned something, I'd like to share it with you. So it, it really is about working with your peers, learning something from your sponsors and all these companies that you work with every day. You know, what's new, what's going on? So this is the place to go to get all that. Wait, wait, Don, I, th I thought you weren't a tech person. You're organizing, <laughs> tech that, person. That, that answer was spot on because you know what? I, one of the things I loved about the virtualization community is we were all learning in the early days and it required a little bit of work. Uh, right. there, there's this, this theory known as the Ikea effect is right. sometimes if you actually help build it a little bit, you actually like it a little bit more. Exactly. And this community really epitomizes oh. that, uh, that in the virtualization community and cloud. You know, we've been talking about cloud now for a decade, but it's still relatively early days on how this, you know, multi-hybrid cloud fits together, how operations are changing. So, you know, Chris, you know, bring us through kind of a little bit of that arc. Well, well think about it. Back in 2003, there was only VMware. No. There was only one virtualization platform. You know, you, if you didn't use VMware, you were doing bare metal Windows install or Unix install of physical servers. Well, back when we changed, there was, there was Hyper-V that was coming out. AWS was just coming out. So that's when we kind of made the jump from just being a VMware user group to a virtual technology. So we could talk about the cloud, we could share those experiences and have that same journey together and hopefully, you know, learn and lead, get smarter together. As a group, you know, you can learn faster as a group than you can by yourself. Yeah, and uh, as we know, Chris, and we, we've talked about this, uh, the IT industry is never, uh, well, hey, uh, give me a clean sheet of paper and we'll start everything. We know it is additive and all of these things go together. So cloud did not obviate the need for virtualization. Uh, so all of these things go together. And how do I make sure as 
you know, my job doesn't get completely eliminated. Or uh, I was talking to somebody who said, if I've been doing the same thing for 10 years, will I be out of the job? They said, well, hopefully you really, really like what you're doing because if you think you can keep doing what you're doing, that is all you will ever be able to do. And I thought that was a very, uh, you know, pointed comment. Yeah, Matt Broberg's comment this uh, talk this morning about what's your next job going to be? What skill sets do you need to be relevant in 10 years? And it's the same thing. I mean, we said the same thing 10, 15 years ago. You know, you can't be a Windows admin anymore. You can't be a VMware admin anymore. You can't be a cloud any admin anymore in five years. Yeah. Uh, so, Don, give our audience a little bit of the, the scope of this event. As I said, I know people that have flown in from the Carolinas, from Colorado, from all over, from California and, and the like. Uh, you know, 16 years of this event. You know, th this community is not just New England. Uh, right. You know, it really has had a broad impact. Right. And it... it it's huge. I mean, people plan their vacations around this. I've had people come from Europe. They fly over here, stay in the state of Maine, they go to L.O. Bean, they do all those things because they plan their vacation. They, they know they need to be here for the VTech event. So it's, it, it's meant a lot because you do get so many different variety of people. You have the sponsors, you have the end users, you have media, you have bloggers, you have pretty much just everybody comes together to really be that community. So it's it's meant a lot to me. It's it's been a long 16 years, but it's been it's been a lot. All right. So 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 the question people are asking: This is the final VTUG. So no more winter, uh, you know, event at Gillette. Uh, this is the final event tonight at Night at Gritty's. So uh, you know, t t explain to us, you know, how how that happened. It, it is the final event. Um, 16 years. We're all getting older. Um, it's bittersweet, but we've just realized that. Um, it takes a lot of time to put these together. It takes a lot of sponsors. Um, it takes a lot of users. The users continue to come, but unfortunately, um, the sponsors pay for it. And we really don't have that following with the sponsors that we used to have, you know, unfortunately. There are a lot more events. There are a lot more ways to, to find customers, so they're going to so they're the meetups, and they're doing their own events. And yeah, I think to, to your opening point, Chris, uh, you know, 16 years ago, it was much tougher uh, to, to, to find sources. Uh, now, you know, the challenge we have is there's too many options exactly. out there. There are too many events. Uh, trust right. me, I go to too many events. Uh, and uh, But this one has always been one that we've always looked forward. Um, so, you know, please from the community want to say thank you so much. It has always been one of our favorite things to kick off the year with when we do the winter one. And uh, the summer one, I've made this trip a couple of times. Uh, it is a little warm in here. Uh, I, I think brings back to the uh, the roots of this event. Uh, remember, it was what, four or five years ago. Oh, it was like man. 110 degrees yes. out. Uh, and then you switch to this school. facility. Yes. Uh, so, of course, the air conditioning decides to go out because we know in IT, sometimes things break. Exactly. Uh, Starting the heat, so, end of the heat. Chris, I want to give you the final word uh, for the, the final VTUG. You know, I just, I'm, I'm very proud and happy with this community. It, it, it truly is a community. It wasn't us. It wasn't the Cube. It wasn't the vendors. It was everyone working together to make a community that, that helped each other out. So I'm, I'm thanks to everyone. Chris and Don, thank you so much. Uh, we, we're happy to be able to be a small piece uh, of this community and look forward to staying in touch with you uh, in your future endeavors. Thanks, thanks so much. Thank uh, you. I'm Stu Miniman. Uh, we have a full day of coverage here, the keynote speakers, some of the users that have traveled around, really focusing on the community here at the VTUG SummerSlam. As always, thank you for watching theCUBE.